Hi. Oh, <laughs> hello. So today I will be doing part 12 of my collection. Yes, part 12. I still have three more parts <laughs> to do, and I definitely know that this is going to be part 1 of 2 of 12, so 12.1. Anyway, let's just jump right into it. This drawer has a lot, so I'm going to try to do all the non simple colors in this video and the simple colors in the next part. So first, let's start with Savina, which is a brand that you can find at Nordstrom Rack. This first one is in the color Purple Hologram. And I think this color is really, really pretty, but I don't think that it is executed the best, especially since I love the Zoya um, Scattered Hollow polishes. The base in this is just too thick, and it covers up the holographic glitters. So I always, if I want to wear this, I have to put on a holographic top coat. Otherwise, I do not see any of that glitter in there. Which sucks because that's the reason why I bought this. I thought it would be really, really pretty, but not really the best. The base is just way too thick. So that one is Purple Hologram. This next one... Oh wait, this is a different polish. Never mind. That goes in another drawer. <laughs> um, okay, this one is in the color Sparkling Water. And this one, again... <laughs> has a holographic glitter. I really like it. And this one is a lot better. The base is a lot th thinner, so you can actually see the holographic glitter, and it's really, really pretty. Um, the formula in this is a little bit, I mean, I think you can see that it's super, super thin. So it's almost like water. I mean, it's called sparkling water, and it's kind of like water, but it is really, really pretty. It dries really fast, but it also chips <laughs> really fast. So there, there are good things and bad things about this polish, but I do think that it's such a pretty color that I'm willing to overlook it because it has a ton, do you see all that holographic glitter in there? A ton of it. So that one's sparkling water. And then I also have another sparkling water, which is right here. Let me, yeah. These both are the same polish, <laughs> which is really funny because this one's a lot darker, but I just, I really wanted to get it because I just thought it was really pretty. And yeah. This one is, is thicker, though, than the other sparkling water. It has a thicker formula, um, but it dries the same, and it also, you can see, that really pretty glitter. So that one is also sparkling water. Um, this next one is in the color Flash, and this one I got because I really wanted that, I can't remember what it was called, um, from China Glaze, like a, a few winter, quite a few winters ago, and their Christmas collection, they came out with like, I forgot what it was called, I think it was called Snow Globe? I want to say it was called Snow Globe. And I was never able to find it, but I found this um, Savino one, which is an exact dupe of it. It's just a whole bunch of iridescent glitters. It's really, really pretty. As you can see though, it's super, super thick. I've added a crap ton of thinner to this over the years. So much. Um, I think I might just end up adding some clear nail polish to this though, because thinner just... It just always evaporates, but this is really, really pretty. I've layered this over usually dark blues because I like wearing it during Christmas because it reminds me of Snow Globe. So, yeah, but it's still, it's a really pretty polish. just super, super thick. So that one is Flash. Then the last, I think this is, yes, this is the last Savina that I have, and this one is in the color Fairy Dust, and this is a dupe of China Glaze Fairy Dust, and it's funny because even the bottle looks like Fairy Dust. Sorry, I just forgot I had this one. Um, yeah, even the bottle, I mean, looks like China Glaze. But this is just a dupe of China Glaze's Fairy Dust. Um, I had Fairy Dust, I finished it, and then when I went to go repurchase it, they didn't have it, and I was desperate for it, so I just picked up this Savina one. And it's really pretty, and it has pretty much the same formula. It's just a holographic top coat. Not really much to say there. Um, so that's it for my Savina polishes. Then I have my... Kiko polishes. I only have four of them. I actually did go into the Kiko store this past weekend, but, um, and they were having a sale. They had like buy three, get three free or something crazy like that. But I don't know. I just, um, I don't know. I just really wasn't feeling any of the colors. I think it's because even though I think Kiko makes really amazing polishes, they're just too regular for me. So this first one, they do have, um, actual names, but they're not on this bottle. This one's in the color... 52. And um, I've worn this one before and it is amazing. I think I wore this last March for St. Patrick's Day. It's just a shimmery green and the formula of this is absolutely perfect. Like it's perfect. So smooth, so easy to apply, so opaque, absolutely amazing. I love it. So that one is in 52. Um, this next one is a peach and this one's in the color 38. And I have not worn this one yet, so I cannot really speak on it. So that one is 38, sorry. 
Um, this next one is in the shade, oh no, this one says it's 38 too. Okay, maybe it's the number at the top. Okay, so maybe this green one is not 52, maybe it's 532. <laughs> and then this peach must be 359. Okay. So this yellow must be 279, and it's just this really beautiful yellow. It's definitely a little bit more mustardy in real life. It's showing up a little bit brighter on camera, and I used this um, two, I think two Halloweens ago um, in some nail art. I did a candy corn nail with this, and it was really, really nice, and it's had a really opaque formula, so I'm excited to wear it by itself. Um, so that is 279. And then this last one I wore recently, this one's in 333, and it's just this really beautiful dark purple. The form of this one was surprisingly thin, um, because it's such a dark purple, I thought it would be opaque in one coat, but I had to do two. I mean, that's not bad at all, it's just that I was expecting one coat, because it looks like it's pretty thick, but it's a little bit thinner than I thought. Someone actually told me what the name of this was, because these do actually have names, they just have numbers on the bottle, but they have actual names, kind of like the Dear Laura polishes, like the PA polishes. If you go on the Dear Laura website, you can see what the names are. He told me and I forgot, but I wore this one recently. <laughs> and I think I put the actual name on there as well. Anyway, um, so this one is in 333 from Kiko. And those are all of my Kiko polishes. Now moving on to my finger paints. Um, I do really like finger paint polishes. I just, I don't know, for some reason I just never really pick them up, even though I do think they come up with some really nice ones. So this first one is in the color Tales of Love, and this one is a textured, and I didn't even know if this was a textured polish because I just picked it up in the clearance, and I, I didn't know that it was a textured polish, but it is so cool, and I absolutely love it. Is this lighting okay? I mean, I feel like that, like that's too, is it dark? Should I dress this lighting? Does that do anything? I don't know. It does make it a little bit brighter, but I don't think it necessarily does much. Anyway, this one is Tales of Love. It's a textured polish. Super, super opaque. Really, really easy to work with, and I really loved it. It's kind of a weird texture, though. It's, like, super, super chunkly textured, but I do really like it. So, Tales of Love. This next one is a glitter topper, and this one is in the color In the City Looking Pretty. Um, I have noticed, though, that with the finger paints polishes, they used to all be named after art things. Like, they would be, like, easel and stuff like that. Like, things that you can paint. But I have noticed in recent years, they kind of have gone away from that. Like, Tales of Love and this In the City Looking Pretty. I mean, unless there's a painting called In the City Looking Pretty. But I kind of feel like there isn't. Um, but this one is a really pretty just pink holographic glitter. It looks really nice in the bottle, and I found it on clearance. Um, I have not worn this one yet, so I can't really talk about it, but I mean, it's a glitter topper, you know, nothing special. So that's In the City Looking Pretty. This next one is in the color Amazing Glaze, and I have worn this one. I layered it over Essie's, uh, what's it called? <laughs> it was from that petal, that, it, what is it called? That, that collection that has, like, petal pusher, and it also has, um... Blossom Dandy. It's the teal one from that collection. That was beautiful. I wore this over it. Honestly, I wish I had just worn it by itself. I mean, I wish I'd worn the Essie by itself because it was perfection. This one wasn't really my favorite. Um, I think I thought I would like it because it has iridescent glitter in it, but I'm not a huge fan of bar glitter and I'm starting to realize that. I mean, I like the way it looks in this bottle, but on the nail, I was not a super fan of it. Plus, it was just very sticky and it felt like it just took forever to dry, which it was probably fine. I just think that that the Essie polish that I put it over was just perfect. I mean, that that spring collection from Essie was just, it was so good. Like, those polishes were just absolutely perfect. So because this was very much less than perfect, it just seemed even worse. So I was not super impressed with this one. So that one is Amazing Glaze. That one has an art-themed name. Um, this next one I've had forever, like literally forever, and this one's called Chrysanthemums the Word. And I also used to have um, another color from this collection called Heavenly Hydrangeas, but that one just completely dried out. I don't know what happened, um, but it just, some happened. I don't, I mean, I'm always really careful about closing my bottles, but that one just did not turn out very good. But this one is Chrysanthemums the Word, as you can see. It's really hard to mix, and it just constantly, it just does this. It doesn't look, it has ugly bottle syndrome. Looks horrible in the bottle, but it's amazing on the nail. It's a one-coater, really smooth, really easy to apply, and it's just this really beautiful kind of like split pea soup green. 
and I like that because I do like split pea soup. It's one of my favorite soups, actually. Um, anyway, but this one is really, really nice. It just kind of suffers from ugly bottle syndrome. So that one is chrysanthemums, the word. I really wish I had heavenly hydrangeas again because that was a really nice color. Just, I don't know, just dried out. I think the ones from this collection must have been, like, kind of weird because this one started messing up, like, not long after I got it. Anyway, this next one is in the color Dovini's Garden, and this is a really, really pretty um, topper. It's like a peacock topper. I haven't worn this one yet, but I would definitely wear it as a topper. I mean, you know, it has like a little bit of a blue tint to the base, but I feel like it wouldn't really amount to anything, but I was really excited to find this one because it is called Dovini's Garden, and Dovini's Garden is a painting by Vincent Van Gogh. Um, his, uh, what, his inspiration, like the person... Someone they looked up to <laughs> um, was a man called Charles Daubigny, and when Charles Daubigny died, um, Van Gogh decided to go to his house to, to his house and ask his gar his garden, ask his widow if he could paint his garden. So he did, and he named the painting Daubigny's Garden. I think there was actually two of these, and I actually saw the Daubigny's Garden painting at the Huntington Library. So I highly recommend going there if you're in Pasadena. So. That's Dobini's Garden. Talked a lot about a polish that I never wore before. <laughs> um, this next one is in the color You Gotta Be Kitching Me, which I think is just really cute because that one is an art kind of term because it's kitsch. Anyway, I got this one because I really wanted the China Glaze one. China Glaze had one of these in a Christmas collection a couple years ago and I was never able to find it on for a price. Whenever I say I'm not able to find something, I mean I'm never able to find it for a price that I'm willing to pay. <laughs> I can find it. It's just that I don't really want to pay that much. So I found this one on clearance and I was really excited and I still haven't worn it. But it's just a multicolored glitter and it just looks really fun and festive and I feel like this would be great for the holiday season. So that one is You Gotta Be Kitching Me. Yeah. This next one is in the color Daisy Days and I have worn this one before. Have I? No, I wore the Sinful Colors one. Never mind. Um, this one's called Daisy Days. I do have a Sinful Colors one that looks pretty similar to this, except... Does that one have hearts or stars? It's in here. Oh, whatever. I don't feel like going through this. Um, but this is Daisy Days. It just has the white glitter with the little um, hearts in it. And I got this one because um, I really wanted the Sinful Colors one that came out a couple Valentine's days ago. And then there was also an OPI one that looked similar to this that I was not willing to pay that price for. So I was really excited to find this one in the clearance because it just looks so pretty. But I have not worn this one yet. I did eventually find the Sinful Colors one. I wore that one and that was not a great experience. <laughs> it was very sparse. Um, but this one looks like it's packed a little bit more than the Sinful Colors one. So maybe I'll have a little bit more um, success with this one. So that one is Daisy Days. And then I have this one, which was my first finger paints, and this one is in the color Shades of Fall. Not gonna lie, I only bought it because I really loved the name. Um, I found it in the clearance section, so I picked it up, and then when I looked at the name, it says Shades of Fall, I was like, ooh, I need that. It's just a really beautiful um, burgundy kind of color, or is it more maroon? Maybe it's a little bit more maroon. And it's really nice. It has a really beautiful formula. Um, it's nice. It has a nice formula. <laughs> so that one, Shades of Fall. Not really much to say about it. Um, then I have this one, which is in the color Colorful Collage, and I love this one. It's just, it's a silver holographic glitter, but this one's more chunky. You know, it's not a super fine one. It's a chunkier one. I've worn this one before, and it's really, really fun and really glitzy. I think this one even, let me pull it close to my face. Nope, it doesn't. I was about to say, I think this one has the bar glitter, because I do have a holographic one that has bar glitter in it. Maybe it's one of my OPI ones. Is it Witch is Witch? It might be Witch is Witch. Anyway, this one's really, really pretty. Super sparkly, and you get quite a bit of glitter on your nails. So that one is Colorful Collage. And then my last um, one is called Peacock Portrait. And this one is like peacock colors. Let me focus this back in. This one has like peacock, what is that? So it's teal glitter, and then I, oh, it's just teal and holographic glitter. Never mind, I thought it had, like, purple in it. It's just teal glitter, and then it also has holographic glitter. It's really, really pretty. I wore this recently. I can't remember what I wore it over, and I think it was fine. <laughs> I honestly can't remember it. I do remember taking it out and painting it on my nails, but I don't remember what I did with it. But it must have been a nail of the day, so, yep, that is, what is it called again? 
Peacock Portrait. Wow, cannot remember anything about this. <laughs> Peacock Portrait did not really leave a, an, an imprint. Um, then I have my Stila Poshes. I have four. I picked these up in a little mini set from Nordstrom Mac a couple years ago, and I really liked these. These are really fun. They also had another set of Stila Poshes, but I liked this one because it was the glitter one, so of course I had to get it. So the first one is just a regular, regular white glitter. This one's in the color Icicle. It's just an iridescent. Um, there's really nothing special about it. The formula is like pretty much every other iridescent glitter that's ever existed. So that's Icicle. It's cute, but it's nothing special. Um, this next one is in the color Stardust. And this one is a mixture of light pink, darker pink, and then holographic glitters. And this one is really, really pretty. Um, I liked layering this over really light pinks because I thought that the light and the dark pink looked really cute together. And this one, this one was nice. So that one is Stardust. This next one was definitely the most interesting of the set. It's the reason why I bought the set. And this one's in the color Kitten. And this one is such an odd color. It has like a tan kind of base and then it has gold glitter in it. It's such an odd looking color but I just think it's so interesting and so cool. I definitely though prefer this as an accent nail rather than an all over nail because I tried wearing this on all my fingernails and I found it just, it was just too much. So I definitely prefer it as like an accent nail if I do like nudes on my other hands. But I do think that this is such an interesting color. So that one is Kitten. And then my favorite of that four piece is definitely Chandelier. <sighs> just look at it. It's a really light purple and it's holographic and it's just super sparkly and amazing. Um, I wore this over Essie's to buy or not to buy and it was just perfection. It was so, so good. So this one is definitely by far my favorite and that one is an ice, no, what is that one called? Chandelier. Wow, it's my favorite. Can you remember the name? <laughs> Chandelier. And then I have my CoverGirl polishes in here. Um, I have my little minis. So these are the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Brilliant Gloss Teenies. I do wish they came out with like full sizes of these. So this first one's in the color Violet Flicker. And this is just a really pretty um, purple. The formula of this was not the greatest. <laughs> um, it was surprisingly sheer, like super, super, super sheer. It almost seemed like a topper, which I was not really expecting because two of the other ones I had, I had, that I had worn previous to this were fully opaque. So this one does not have the greatest formula, so it's not one of my favorites. So this one is Violet Flicker. This next one is in the color Scalding Emerald, and I also did not like this one. This one was also super, super thin, super sheer, more like a topper, so not a fan of Scalding Emerald. Then um, I have this one, which is in the color Black Heat, and this one I did really like. It's just, it's a black and gold, and this one was a lot more opaque. It was, I think, completely opaque in about two coats, really easy to apply, not like the other two. So this one is Black Heat, very much liked it, and then... My baby, my favorite one, my favorite child. This one is flamed out. Do you, do you see? Do you see this? It is amazing. Like, stunning. Absolutely amazing. And I love it. It's just perfect to me. Absolutely perfect. I just, I love it. It just glows on the nails. It is so, so, so bright. When I did my nail the day for this, I was so upset because it was not showing how glowy it is. It just, it's absolutely amazing and I wish that they had a full size bottle of this I wish I had more bottles of these um I've gone and I've looked for other bottles of these but they were always a lot like five dollars for this tiny little polish I mean it's so little I just can't pay five dollars for it I mean I love it but five dollars is just way too much so I've been on the hunt for a dupe and I do have a slight it's slightly similar to it. This one's from Sinful Colors. I've actually had this one for a while. This is Orange Crush, which was from one of their um, textured collections. It does look pretty similar, as you can see, but it's just not as bright as this one. And this one also ends up a lot lighter on the nail. It definitely does, is not as, like, opaque as this, and it just doesn't have just not as glowy as this. So if you know of a dupe for Flamed Out by CoverGirl, please tell me, okay? It's imperative. <laughs> I need it. So it's flamed out. My favorite child. Then I have two of the full size um, CoverGirl Outlast Stay Brilliance. And yeah, I got these with a coupon. It was like buy one, get one free. So this first one is in the color Timeless Rubies. And I think it's such a pretty color, but I have never worn it. 
it's like a spiced kind of color. It looks really, whenever I see colors like this, I just say they look spiced because I don't know how else to describe them. Um, it looks really pretty. I just haven't worn it yet. So, but I'm sure I'm going to like it because it's a glass fleck and I like glass flecks. So that one is Timeless Rubies. And then this next one is in the color Midnight Magic. And this is an exact dupe of OPI's On Her Majesty's Secret Service, which I have. So, yeah. <laughs> I got this just because it was free and there were no other um, CoverGirl polishes I was really interested in. So I just picked this one up and there it is. What is that one called again? Midnight Magic. So that's that. Now for my one and only um, NYX polish. I kind of jumped the gun with this one. And this one's in the color Fool's Gold. And it has like rose gold glitter. And then it has, actually what color is that? No, it has holographic glitter. And it has rose gold like chevron kind of glitters. This is an exact dupe of the OPI one from that Starlight collection. I don't remember what it's, what it's called, but I have it. And I picked this one up because I heard that it was a dupe of that OPI one. And I didn't think I'd be able to find the OPI one. So I picked this one up and then I found the OPI one, of course. But I have worn this one and it's fine. Um, the glitters are really interesting. So that's something. Plus it was only, I think, a few dollars. So... Yeah, it's nice. So that's Fool's Gold. <laughs> kind of jumped the gun because I wasn't sure if I was going to find it. Um, this next one is my one and only Station polish. And this one's in the color Let's Mingle and Jingle. And it's just a blue with holographic glitters in it. I got this one because I thought that it would be a dupe of Essie's Starry Starry Night. Um, and it's not. Of course it's not. Because the original Essie's Starry Starry Night is just it looks like the sky like it looks like the night sky it's just such a dark blue and then it has just these super super fine like holographic glitters in it that are just it's just it's really really pretty and I thought that this would look kind of similar and it totally doesn't although the new re-released Essie's Starry Starry Night doesn't look like the original either so yeah but this does kind of look like the re-promotion though so that one stations let's mingle and jingle oh also the formula of this was all right <laughs> it was fine. I think it was it was kind of sheer for the first like two coasts and it kind of like settled itself out on the third, which was nice, but it was okay. So this is my only station and that is in Let's Mingle and Jingle. Then I have two of these nail rock polishes. They used to have these at Walmart. They were like in nail art sets. So the first one I have is in the color Moon Silver and this one came with like little caviar beads. And this is actually a really, really nice silver. It's super opaque, really easy to work with. And I even stamped with this once, and it was really good. <laughs> so that one is Moon Silver. And then the second one I have, this one's called Rocket's Bows. And these ones came with, like, pearl bows and, like, little p pearls. And it was really cute. Um, this one, the formula was a little bit thinner. I definitely had to do about three coats for full opacity because it was pretty streaky and patchy from what I remember. So that one is Rocket's Bows. Not really much to say about those. Huh, <laughs> that rhymes. Um, I have my INM Northern Lights top coat. And this is what it looks like. It just looks like a regular top coat. And then, I don't know if you can see, but it has like holographic glitter at the bottom. And then you just shake it up. I'm shaking it up right now. And it disperses into the bottle. Um, they still have a silver one at Sally's. <laughs> it takes a while for it to shake up. Um... They have this silver one that's still, it's really cute. It's very, very subtle and it's kind of like a two for one because, you know, it's a topper and, you know, a holographic top coat. So they have this silver one and they also have a, they used to have a gold one. I remember seeing the silver and the gold at Sally's and then picking up the silver and I do wish I'd picked up the gold as well because that would have been nice. Um, but that's this one. I do really like it. So that's the Northern Lights holographic top coat. Um, I have my one and only... Barrel Polish. This one's in the color Slate of Affairs. And I don't know. It's kind of like a slate gray with um, a blue flash. I have not worn this one yet, so I cannot speak on it. So that's Barrel Slate of Affairs. Um, I have my one and only Piggy Polish, which I love this one. And this one is Sunshine on Snowflakes. And it's just this super beautiful silver holographic glitter. This one definitely um, operates better as a full coverage glitter because it is pretty thick. Um, and if you did layer it over another color, it'd probably cover that cover. It would probably cover that color. So, um, I've worn this one by itself and it was amazing. Super sparkly, really amazing. Um, that's sunshine on snowflakes. 
And then I have my Bonita polishes. I have three of those. And um, this first one is in the color Glass Slippers. And this is just a really light blue. And I was so surprised by this because I thought it was going to be streaky and patchy. This was so smooth and so even. This was a dream to apply. And I was really, really shocked because it just had... A stunningly beautiful formula and I definitely did get more of these but I never really go to Rite Aid which is where these are sold because my Rite Aid kind of sucks and it never really has anything so yeah I definitely need to get more of these though because this was really really nice so that one's glass slippers and then the other one I have I used it in the same Manny and this one is in the color splendid love and this one again perfect formula really smooth really easy to apply it had no problems i was so shocked because usually light pastel colors are not the best to work with so i was very impressed with this so that one is splendid love and then i have this one which is from a different line i picked this one at the 99 cent store and this one's pinky swear and i picked it up because i thought it looked like um chen and glaze's flip flop fantasy and it is it's exactly the same so i thought that was kind of cool so if you're looking for a dupe of flip flop fantasy look for bonita's pinky swear i don't know how easy this is to find because i picked this up at 99 at the 99 cent store like a year ago um but it's definitely worth a look so that one's Pinky Swear. I haven't worn that one yet, though. And then the last one that I'm going to be showing you guys in this video is my only P2 polish. This one's in this one's the Techno Chrome line, and this is in the color Bronze Cut. I wore this one in a nail the day a few months ago, and it is so good. Like, it's a one-coater. Oh, it's beautiful. So smooth, so easy to apply. Dries in a second. Super awesome. I love it. Usually with these chrome polishes though, I find they're typically opaque in one coat, but I always do too because these wear off super fast. So they go on really easy, they dry really fast, but they also wear off really, really quickly. So I usually do about two coats just so that, you know, the wear time is a little bit longer. Um, this one's awesome. I definitely need to pick up more. I think I need to pick up all <laughs> of these Techno Chrome polishes. And I also want to try some of their creams. So yeah, that is Bronze Cut from P2, and that is it for this part of the video. In my next video, I will be showing all of my simple colors, which I have a lot, and my I just bought a whole bunch more <laughs> as well. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next video.